What was of particular concern to the parties present, especially school learners, is the high numbers of murders, assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm, rape, domestic violence and drug-related crimes prevalent not only in the regions but also within schools. Community policing or the concept of police and public operation to fight crime can only work if the public also take responsibility for their own safety. Learners, they should say no when their parents send them to go buy alcohol and alcohol abuse. It's not for teenagers or the person under the age of 18. Learners are using alcohol drinking and so on while their parents are the nightclubs in residential areas. This has been a very difficult issue in Namibia. We see young children going out at night, not even telling their parents where they are going. People are breaking into people's houses just to rape them. And not only do they rape us, they kill us. The person could have had a bright future, but they were killed. Um, we also think that the Ministry of Justice they, they shouldn't give bail to the rapist because once they are out of prison, they go out and do the same thing again. Mothers, at the end when they get pregnant, they see they cannot support their children. Fathers run away and there are social health and educational problems. Like they cannot go back to school because now they are having a child. They have to support their child and at the end of the day, they are going to dump the babies. The City Police Working Group are hoping that there will be a big turnout of learners, teachers, parents and community members, as well as church leaders and relevant ministries and stakeholders this coming Saturday at the Bethel Parish for a debate on ways to alleviate problems in society. Ramal the English reporting for the News on One.